You are now streaming live to Twitch. You're not, we are. I mean, you could be, but... Live from Canada, but also pushed somewhere else. So actually from somewhere else, kind of. Yeah, where are we broadcasting from? It's like a friggin' mystery. You know what else is a mystery? What is this show even about? Well, we're gonna put that mystery down to pasture with a bullet right now. Point. Bullet point. There aren't even bullet points on the dock. No, this is Red the kind. This is the text. kind of lazy crap that I have to deal with around here. No bullets. How are we gonna kill this show today with no bullets? That's a dash. That's a dash. You know what a dash is? A speedy substitute for a bullet. I can't change it. I don't know how to fix it on Google Docs. AMD sees his mental optimization. That's topic number one today. Star Citizen's creatively named FPS module Star Marine is having some issues. Maybe it's underwater. Why would that... Oh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you sounded so disappointed. It made my it made my joy juices flow. I oh. Which, sorry, that's not really what I meant. <laughs> okay, I think most. It made me spit out joy juices. I think most of the spit actually landed on the monitor, so it's okay. <laughs> so, um, sorry. Nvidia reveals I'm new turning GPUs. Red. <laughs> Warner Brothers knew that Arkham Knight for PC was a mess months ago and didn't do anything about it. Woo! Intro time! Yeah! I have way too much energy today. That's cool. Where is my intro? Intro! Why is it didn't not playing? <laughs> intro didn't work. I don't know. This is a bad song. We when can make the intro work if we drag the right thing into Yeah, the no, box. I'm... No, I am determined... This Why is happening. Can try to make the thing work, but this we is don't happening. know if it will. Boom! Boom! Then. It'll work now. Swamp butt, clenching hard enough. Clench so hard he dies. Would that be possible? Well, is that kind of what happened? <laughs> you know, the idea behind this whole thing was that as we could do like two all the time, we ended up with two. And aren't they the wrong color? No, no, that's fine. Oh, they are now. They're right now? No, oh, these outro. No, no, the sponsor things are a mess. Oh, you mean uh, the intro? Yeah, Who's the intros. Like, like, we were going to do, like, we were going to walk across different landscapes all the time, and it just never happened. In Ed's defense, he's been extremely busy turning Linus Tech Tips into. A fire pole? Pretty much not a fire. I don't even. No, we are not talking about fire poles today. He's been turning Linus Tech Tips into what a lot of people are considering, like, worthy of being a bona fide TV show. So. Uh, for those of you who have already seen Scrapyard Wars 2E on Vessel, and for those of you who are waiting for it on YouTube, uh, honestly, overall, like, considering the size of the team we have working on a project like that, um, yeah, we're extremely proud of it, and uh, I hope you guys are, are looking forward to or enjoyed the uh, the final part, depending on how that whole thing went. Yes. So, this was posted by Krak7 on the forum. Krak. Karak. Karak. This link is bogus. What is happening? It's like a bogus journey. I what is going on with my cursor? <laughs> if it doesn't start cursing better, I'm going to start cursing. I'm going to get the link shared in the... Yeah, the link is going to be... People on Twitch are going to be on that website before you are. Unless, no, I'm not logged in, so you'll win. Yes. Never mind. Get wrecked, bro. Mind. All right, so... Uh... This is a link to the AMD Fury review. Hopefully ah. there's something about Mantle Fury X, excuse me. Something, something. Well, you know what? Whatever. Oh. Anon, Anon Tech probably talked about it at some point. So, uh, we called it. I called it. You probably called it. Did we collectively call this? Yeah. Um, AMD has confirmed that while they are not outright dropping Mantle support, that is such a great way of putting it. It's like... We are not outright dropping support for oxygen. We're not going to remove it. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> to remove the oxygen. We're just not going to replenish it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're not dropping mantle support. They have simply ceased all further mantle optimization. Um, so the mantle driver has not been optimized at all for GCN 1.2. Is that, is that equivalent to like our efforts on installing a fire pole? 
Uh, yes, we have completely... Well, no, it's slightly different in that there was never going to be a fire pole! Uh, so the mantle driver has not been optimized at all for GCN 1.2. That means R9 Theory X, R9 285, R9 380, and the Carrizo APU. Uh, mantle is essentially deprecated at this point, and while AMD isn't going out of their way to break backwards compatibility, they aren't going to put resources into helping it either. Mantle was never going to work. Yeah. It was a cool idea. Yep. Um, I think I even... Like, I waffled about this a lot, um, and I I actually, you know what? What this are we is looking kinda, for right now? Oh. This is kind of embarrassing. I don't remember if I ever made an AMD Mantle video. Yes, I did. So I did make an AMD Mantle fast as possible on Tech Quickie, and you can, you can even tell. A year ago, this many people were interested. And three months ago, this many people gave a crap about DirectX 12 and Vulkan. <laughs> some of this is because Tech Quickie has grown. Some of this is because Mantle never really mattered because it was like, there was like, there was always a list of games that were getting support. There was never games where it actually mattered. Like Battlefield 4 with Mantle was just difficult to benchmark. There was no benefit. It's just Unless you played there. on that one uh, aircraft carrier mission where everything was breaking and sliding to the left, then there was a little bit. Right. In which single is... player. So Mantle was never going to succeed until an actual industry standard supported by everything and everyone <coughs> um, managed to, to take that whole concept of dramatically improving CPU overhead and uh, draw call performance and was actually everywhere so that game developers could legitimately design their games for everyone to play because we already run into this where the PC doesn't get a game because developers can't justify the additional cost of porting it. And I mean, whether that's due to piracy concerns or whether that's due to just being obstinate buttheads, you know, you look at you look at how much of an impact it's had on Ubisoft's business over the last few years to actually release their games on PC. Yeah. yeah. Um, so whatever the reasons, you look at how how that sometimes happens that the PC doesn't get. That's with all PCs included. So you want to start breaking it down and going, oh, well, you have to do extra work for AMD PCs, or, like, you know... That's what I think a lot of um, software, but mainly hardware developers don't understand when they're releasing new things that are like, oh, this is very, very game-changing, but you have to use, like, our SDK... You to have to use a PhysX accelerator. Uh, yeah. Even when NVIDIA yeah. took the PhysX onto the GPU with their 65 or 70% discrete market share, they still can't sell that. They still can't do it because it's not ubiquitous. Yeah. I mean, NVIDIA has gotten away with some things with, uh, with, uh, with Gameworks, for example, but that involves them handing it finished to the game developer, basically. Take this, plug it into your game, it makes it look better on our GPUs, and theoretically uh, doesn't harm performance on someone else's GPU, especially if you don't turn the feature on, which I guess is true. Um... Oh, interesting. Uh, there is a shirt that has been released. released. Actually, there's a couple of interesting shirt news related items. So number one is if you got a Linus Tech Tips hashtag first shirt and it was red. Don't worry, you probably also got an email, unless you didn't get an email, in which case I'm telling you now. You probably also got an email from Teespring saying that some of the shirts were printed red which you already knew because you got a red one, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you've probably already got a shirt that's red, unless you didn't order one, in which case you won't have gotten any shirts, and I yeah. sincerely apologize. Um, but Teespring will be resending, at their own cost, properly colored shirts. Teespring bro. To those of you who got red shirts. That's cool. Which is good, because I got red shirts. I ordered, Did you? I ordered four shirts. They're red. <laughs> Can the CEO of a company <laughs> wear a shirt that's the wrong color? I don't think so. But you know I'd do it anyway. But Probably, yeah. Be like, oh, well, I've worn this one for two weeks. Time to change it. So good guy, Teespring. They are making it happen. No one is being forced to return the red shirts, which is pretty nice. Um, and we also have a new shirt to announce today. Unfortunately, 
It has nothing to do with fire poles, which is fortunate. Um, it kind of does. It has nothing to do with fire poles, it which does. is unfortunate. It has nothing to do with fire Just poles, a bit. which is nothing to do with fire poles. Just a very small amount. <laughs> this, my friends. You're not logged in, so this is taking forever. Yeah. Um, well, this is weird. I'm clicking log in, and it's not doing a thing. What? I don't even know the password. That is the ultimate in password security. Did you know? Not knowing it. Did you know why this thing that they're going to figure out very soon, uh, actually they'll catch up by the time you post it, probably? Uh, no, I'm not ready to post You're it quite yet. I'm it? doing a straw poll first. <sighs> Are you going to buy this Fire shirt? Pull. Yes, no, the usual option that everybody Thirnip. loves so very much. Thirnip. So, this, my friends, is the new shirt design. It is on teespring.com slash vote for nice. turnip. And the straw poll, my friends, apparently this is only a 10-day campaign. Mr. Mr. Nick Light is getting aggressive about his campaign periods. That's intense. That is intense. That is not a lot of time to decide to, uh, to buy one. Did we sell seven in the time that we've been sitting here? We'll refresh Showing the page. it to people? Maybe. I have no, no idea. No, wait, no, it doesn't say. Apparently, we only set a reserve of three. So, who is planning to buy this shirt? <laughs> reserve of three. We have a massive 63% of you saying turnip, with 28% of you saying no, and only 10% of you saying yes. Apparently, Nick Light would like to join us on the WAN show. Hello, caller. You're on the WAD show. Hey, um, it's not actually... No, caller, caller. You're gonna... It's caller. I'm afraid your belligerent tone is simply not going to work for this show. Can you, uh, can you just compose yourself and call us back once you are more calm, sir? Hey. Okay. Sir, I'm afraid these comments about my mother are simply not going to be tolerated. <laughs> Sorry, you can, you can talk now. <laughs> Am I on speaker or what? Is you are totally on speaker. Okay. Um, the, the campaign's not actually 10 days. It just wouldn't let me set a higher amount. It's going to be like 20-something, 20 24 days probably. Um, oh. I've already emailed our rep, so he's going to extend it when he can. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's up there. Unfortunately, 4 FOR wouldn't work, so I had to use a 4. Sorry. Um, well, you wouldn't be the first person to take that shortcut. Yeah, exactly. Okay, anyway, that's all I had to say. It's not actually a 10-day campaign. It's longer. Okay, thank you. Okay, bye. Enjoy your day off. Okay. Bye. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, you missed him. You didn't get a bye. Uh, what is he talking about for? Uh, oh, the... Is uh, it printed on there with a The four? link is vote for turnip. Uh, which, in my mind, is really not that big of a deal. That's fine. So, uh... I really didn't just click it anyways. Yeah. But the reason why this has a little bit to do with the fire pole... It has nothing! Is okay. if you go to firepole.co... Shut up. Is that... <laughs> did you create this? I did not, actually. I'll go to firepole.co. I, I, I didn't do it. I will take the bait, and I will go to firepole.co. Dot, dot no. Whoa! No, LL. Firepole. Yeah. I see. Yeah. There you go. The fire pole, straw pole, pole. <laughs> yes, should Linus install a fire pole? Yes, no, turnip. And we are getting a massive 77% voting for yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right. We have to address it at some point. The fire pole is very funny. It's amusing. Would I enjoy a fire pull? Yes. In fact, before Luke trolled the crap out of everyone on the entire internet <laughs> by, with his BS about fire pulls in the new office vlog, before that happened, I actually created like an MS Paint drawing of the new office that did include, among other things, a fire pull. It is a joke that I personally heartily enjoy. But I will, I am going to educate you guys about some business realities. We're not firefighters. We don't need a fire pole. 
Arguably, firefighters don't need fire poles. Right. So if they don't need them, then we definitely don't need them. Thank you for feeding into my point. <laughs> also, fire poles come with a not insignificant liability concern. Nah. Can you imagine? Nah. Can you imagine the look on the workers' compensation, you know, agent's face when, you know, Taryn has a repetitive strain injury due to repeatedly going down the fire pole, and they ask him, what exactly does descending a pole have to do with your daily work activities as a video editor? To which he would have no reply, he would receive no compensation, and he would be poor with a broken wrist. Is that what you want? If we pointed a camera at it, could be a, could it be a uh, super fun prop? Tell you what. If nobody ever rides it, not once, <laughs> I will consider putting it in. Okay. But if anyone rides it, I will remove it. <laughs> Could you resist? Or is it just better for us to say it wasn't meant to be? So if we don't point a camera at it. I, I think as an alternative, you should enroll Luke in some pole dancing classes. Yes, I down. think that's our new it's straw poll. strength. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Luke pole dancing lessons. It's yes, good for core no, strength. Turn up. Whatever, man. Super fun. That could actually be a very excellent super fun. LMG pole dancing lessons. I'll film for that one. I volunteer. Nick <laughs> Burkle volunteers to film. The hell you will! You're participating, smart guy. I'm on to you. I think you'd actually do the best. You think I would do the best in pole dancing? I think your weight to strength ratio is probably pretty good. You know what? I look a lot stronger than I am. Yeah, but like... My Bert, left arm is weak sauce. The Knicks and I aren't going to be able to... Right, you guys are pretty top heavy. Yeah. So, uh, Luke pole dancing lessons. We've got a massive 81% voting for yes. If you're paying for it, like, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> so what else does that apply to? <laughs> you know that. God. Should we do some actual topics? We've been on no. the air for 20 minutes. No. Okay. Question. Are you on the air if your entire broadcast... Wi-Fi. ...is over... Wi-Fi. So you're on someone's air. Yeah. But it's not the air. But the, the broadcasting station... <laughs> It, it goes straight to air. But the mic would go through a cable. So you're saying the air between the microphone and my mouth qualifies as air? Everything has a cable at some point. Everything has a cable at some point? Internally, possibly. I could show you something that doesn't have a cable. Wow. <laughs> Actually. My belt. Okay. No cable. Well, that's possibly true. But what about thread fibers? Thread those fibers. Count? You know, hmm. okay, so we actually did a fast as possible on wires versus... Um, cables. Wires versus cables? I think so. I think so. Yes, we it did. Was that stuff. No, so a thread is too small because a cable, the, uh, the size of it, the girth of it is implied. Okay. Um, okay, so <laughs> Sony launches first flight crowdfunding site, which basically appears to be a way for Sony to get funding for new products this because is they're out of money. It's only in Japan. The website design is horrible. OP here is uh, good bites. Let's go ahead. I'll uh, have you drop this in. Uh, in no, the, I'm, I'm okay. moving on it. I'm going to I'm going to pull this up on BitTech here. So I'm going to link this in chat, but you guys need to Google Translate it. So just a heads up. So First Flight's initial campaign is for a customizable remote control based on a low power electrophoretic electro electrophoretic, excuse me. I misread that. E-paper display similar to the Harmony family except probably not functional at all because even Logitech couldn't figure out a multifunction remote on their own and acquired Harmony with their years and years of expertise. Knowing Sony, it'll work with 
you know, your Sony TV and your Sony receiver and your Sony Discman. And your PlayStation. That you definitely have all of, like, the compatible ecosystem products for. Okay, no, it's probably Maybe you could use the to remote be. to use your cell phone, it's which probably, should just be the remote anyways. It's probably meant to be universal. But, and to be clear, universal remotes have gotten a lot better in recent years, with even some phone apps uh, being pretty darn impressive. So, um... Yeah, I mean, this to me is even more reprehensible than... Reprehensible. No, I mean, I think it's the right word, because, yeah, like, an indie product developer, like, uh, you know, someone like a Pebble, and I'm not talking the most recent Pebble campaign, I'm talking when they were actually a small company, um, you know, getting crowdfunding and not contributing equity back to the investors, the funders, um, you, you kind of get it, kind of. This is like a multinational corporation yeah. not giving equity back to crowd funders. Yeah. So, who is remote? Um, I don't yeah. know. It's kind of weird. It's only in Japan. That's something that we have to remember. So Yeah. Japan exclusive and right like, now. And apparently there's zero plans. Uh, yeah, no plans to launch elsewhere at all. So... It's not really that important. It's just interesting that a large company went this route. It's, I guess it's not the strangest thing that's ever no. happened in Japan. No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> or even at Sony, really. <laughs> um, so, oh, we didn't actually publish the uh, the YouTube announce. I saw you, like, kind of looking at it. I couldn't yeah, tell if I it was public it was, or not. I thought it was public. But that's okay, because you, the 2,800 people here now, you guys are the real MVPs. Yeah. Yeah. Most valuable. And now that those other people are showing up, you're the MVP. So everyone's an MVP. Most valuable. Everyone's an MVP. We actually appreciate everyone who who views our content. I've, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, for something like Wan Show, where it's available a lot of different ways. You can watch live on Twitch. You can watch the archive on YouTube. You can listen on SoundCloud. Which most people don't know about. We need to talk about that more. Yeah, which most people don't know about. In fact, it's the funniest thing. Isn't there still, like, an unofficial thread in the forum? Probably. Where people are uploading audio versions of the and WAN Show they podcast? they probably get more downloads than the SoundCloud. Yeah, so every single WAN Show, when it's archived on YouTube, has a link to SoundCloud under it. If you just want to... And, and I enable download rights for all of them. So you can just download them and listen to them at your leisure. So a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to support you guys to watch? Uh, quite frankly, I think the most... Profitable is on Twitch? I'm actually not sure. I, I actually don't I don't know. Do we when, get anything from Twitch? Yeah, I think so. Well we don't specifically run ads, so it's not a ton, but I'm pretty sure the ad that people get when they tune in, because we don't do like mid roll ads or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure Twitch is the, the Do we collect that? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not in we're charge not of a, finances. <laughs> we're not a partner. We don't have a sub button no, or we chat are, emotes. We are a partner. Well, no, I'm pretty because sure Because when I asked for partnership for my channel, which is still in limbo because the new office isn't built yet, reasons, um, he was like, I can give you all the partner stuff, because all of the thing, the only reason why I really wanted it was quality control. Right. Um, he's like, I can give you, like, this suite of things, or this suite of things, or this suite of things, and I was like, I'll just, whatever, I'll just take all of it. But we don't have any of it. Right. We used to get checks. Well, do we have do we have quality control? I think we do. I don't know. I don't know, this, bro. This computer is so slow. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know. It but just it says needs medium. Format. Okay. So I think maybe. Okay, so so at any rate, uh, I don't know. But the point is, we just want you guys to watch. Everyone's the MVP. We love it when you guys watch. That's me digging myself out of the hole where I position some of our viewers as more important than others because that is not the case. We love all of our viewers equally. Like children. Secretly, all parents love some of their children more. They just won't talk about it. You're a parent now, which one is it? <laughs> I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so NVIDIA <laughs> unveils plans for GTX 950 series range of GPUs. So, original article here is from kitguru.net. Let's go ahead and pop this baby up. Um, and I think this is rumor at this point. Exact specifications for the GTX 950 and 950 Ti, or Ti, 
as the cool kids call it, are unknown, but it's uh, highly likely that... Oh, wow, this is like this is some super rumor stuff going on here. It's likely they will have more than 640, but less than 1,024 stream processors. <laughs> Huge gap. So, yeah. Um... So basically, so the, yeah, it's funny because basically what they've done is they've created a chart. Yeah, this is brutal. 960 and like the old 750 Ti and 750 that they'd be replacing. And they kind of, yeah, probably somewhere in there. Good guess. Uh, yes, probably somewhere in there. Uh, it's safe to say that they'll be somewhere in the sort of 150 or lower range and they will deliver <laughs> up-to-date features like DirectX 12.1. Not that you'll be really enjoying any of the you know, Uber rendering features of DirectX 12.1 on a low-end first of a generation of DirectX-capable cards anyway. Um, One of my favorite parts of that post on KGuru was at the very bottom, where it was like, NVIDIA did not comment on this news story. It's like, the headline is NVIDIA preps low-cost graphics. Maybe. <laughs> and then whoever, Star Coaster... That is a misleading headline that you posted online. It's techtips.com. NVIDIA unveiled nothing. Got us. Um, so it's going to feature H.265 encoding and decoding, fully compatible with HTCP 2.2 content protection over HDMI 2.0. And, yeah, so it'll be, like, better than the old things, proportionally, according to how much better Maxwell replacements were for the other old things, in all likelihood. And power efficient, in case you were concerned about that. Um, speaking of power efficient, uh, we've got a couple cool videos coming out this week. Uh, Fury X versus 980Ti in the SG13. Um, so it's a small form factor case. We learned a bunch of really cool stuff. So number one is that open test benching. I think our I think its days are over. Really? I think we're going to have to switch to in-case test benching because the results... The prevailing results out there for Fury X versus 980 Ti do not necessarily align with the results that I get in a closed, a more enclosed environment. And well, yes, did you use the working Fury X this time? I did. Okay. A small form factor case is not the be all and end all of computers. A lot of people have big towers where an air cooled card will will do better. But now that GPU boost and whatever AMD calls their turboing are such a key part of the performance of a graphics card, the actual system the card is installed in becomes a major factor. Speaking of systems, we're actually getting a system for review for the first time. Digital Storm is sending us a Bolt 3. Oh, cool. So we're going to be able to evaluate what I consider to be one of the coolest pre-builts yeah out there because it's legitimately different from what people can build by themselves. I mean, the differentiating factor is predominantly the case, of course, but that's always been the yeah. case. case. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Great! A problem with the case, show. case needed to test graphics cards thing is uh, we're going to have to pick mediums, and you're probably going to have to do more than one case. Yep. Because like that little Silverstone case is going to perform much differently than it will. some other one. So I don't actually have a clear answer as to how we'll do that. We might, like, we might just have to go. Okay, everyone who's a gamer has a fractal Arc MIDI R2, and um, that's how it's going to be. Deal with it. You know, sunglasses. Boop. <laughs> That was actually pretty good. I was watching it in here so I could see it properly. That was fantastic. Um, so we'll have to figure out a strategy, but uh, I can say it was an unexpected result. And then I have another really cool one coming that really threw me for a loop. I used a high-speed camera to take our highest-end G-Sync monitor, our 144Hz ROG Swift, and our highest-end FreeSync monitor, our XL2730Z from BenQ, and a Fury X versus a 980Ti, and I used a high-speed camera to detect the latency between clicking the mouse and a muzzle flash in the animation of Crisis 3. And the results raised more questions than they answered. <laughs> but that's all I can say about it for now, because uh, that's all I can say about it for now. You'll have to watch the video. Yeah. Stop asking. No one's asking anything. Nobody. Literally because they no haven't one. seen it yet, probably. Yeah. Uh, next... <laughs> Uh, Nexus posted this on the forum. I've already uh, posted the links. Don't worry about it. Oh. Um, 
I realize it's actually pretty fast for me to just do that on my way to pasting it into the browser. It is, actually. Um, it's okay. But sometimes I forget, which is why it's good to have you and here. And it's smoother now. So the Star Citizen FPS module is delayed for the foreseeable future. Wow, that is two video ads above the fold on one page. For the same thing. If you don't want to see it in widescreen, you can see it in a, a little box. I finally saw that, uh, that movie I wanted to see. Um, Avengers. Age of Ultron. Okay. Is that what it's called? There, yeah, Avengers. one of them. Yes, I enjoyed it. It was far superior to Fury. <laughs> far superior to Fury! Burkle doesn't even watch Marvel movies. Whoa. Yeah. He's like... Oh, I am Burkle. I am a snob. I do not watch Marvel movies. You know what I really enjoyed, surprisingly really enjoyed, was Kingsman. Haven't King, seen Kingsman. it. Kingsman. Kingsman, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. The whole movie's just ridiculous. I would probably enjoy it. Sounds like my kind of thing. I was talking to Brandon about it and trying to describe it, and he was just very confused. And I was like, just watch it. And it was in the plane, and he burst out laughing many times on the plane. Just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So, it's delayed. They showed it off at a, like, backers press event thing at, I believe, PAX East in April. Yeah. They demonstrated the module there. The problem isn't that the module isn't working very well, because it was actually working fairly well at the event, which is one hell of a thing if you know how events usually go <clears throat> but the problem is networking backends so they have about 15 percent of the team working on star marine right now it's been a pretty major focus because it's their next public release but the networking backend is throwing a kind of wrench in things so there's no like release date now which kind of sucks but i don't really care when does Personally. networking not throw a wrench in things? That's true. But, like, I just... I just... Yeah. Personally, I'm okay with my money being, like, reserved away for now. I just want them to finish the whole thing. And then I'll get really excited. In, like, f three years. Four years? Yeah, and you know what? That, a game like that is going to be constantly evolving, too. So yep. you can probably kind of jump in at any time, and there's going to be, like, really cool, new, and interesting stuff to do. Yep. Um... I wonder how the vote for turnip shirt is doing. This is one of those things where we just kind of like, we kind of put it together because you guys were like, yeah, we want to vote for turnip shirt. Apparently 16 people have vote for turnip swag on order already. I want to vote for turnip shirt. I, I'm getting one. I always buy them though. I mean, like if I don't, if I don't consider it good enough to buy, then we probably shouldn't release it. Should, yeah. <laughs> should it be on the store? <laughs> it's a pretty good metric, I guess. <laughs> It's like, you know what? That one's kind of <coughs> crap. It's okay for the plebs, you know, out there watching the show, but me? No, man. If, if, you, if you, like, run Ford, but then refuse to drive a Ford, it's like, hmm, maybe not good. Yes, exactly. Speaking about maybe not good, Warner Brothers. Oh, what do you mean maybe? What is maybe? Oh, hold on. Can I jump in really quickly here? No. On the subject of networking being a like gigantic load of poo, um, if there is anyone who has actually managed to get SMB 3.0 multi-channel working, and I mean working like bonding together network interfaces, like, like taking a quad gigabit NIC and a quad gigabit NIC and then a dumb switch, and having that transfer at 4 gigabit speeds on a single file transfer, in theory it does that. As far as I can tell, it is a gigantic load of bullshit because I have done everything. Fresh Windows 8.1 installs. Fresh Windows 8.1 and Server 2012 R2. Fresh two Server 2012 R2s. I have tried uh, link aggregation, LACP. I have tried different modes of link aggregation. I have tried configuring the NIC teaming from within the Intel driver. I have tried configuring the NIC teaming from within Windows Server 2012 R2's control center panel, enable this role and feature on the server. It doesn't work. I have found blog posts from people who say it works, but I have never actually seen it work. In theory, it just works. No configuration, no LACP, no smart switches, no nothing. In practice, it doesn't appear to do anything. I have even gotten as far as through the PowerShell verifying that the SMB link is 3.02 between two server 2012 R2 machines. Number of links open, one. Number of links that are always open, one! 
It's supposed to have multiple links. So if anyone's ever actually gotten it working and has some pro tips, I'm more than happy to hear about them. Uh, post on the forum would be the best way to do that. It's down! It's down? Oh. It's down. Well, Forum's down, I know! Do it later. Um, okay. <sighs> so let's go ahead and move on to our next topic. Right. Warner Brothers knew that Arkham Knight PC was a mess months ago. I'm going to well, pop in the, the article archive, here. it's not down. Yes. Yeah. So, never mind. So there's that. So for the other, like, you know, 150,000 people that are going to watch, then it's not you'll down. be fine. Yeah. You guys are MVPs too, man. That's what I said. So Warner Butts... Hey oh yeah. yeah! I remember when you used to high five me and touch me without wiping your hands first. <laughs> you learned. I always used to like. <laughs> but you used to be a lot sweatier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm oh, sorry. I'm God. sorry. Do your topic. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Warner Brothers, someone, there's a quote here, but it doesn't say from who. Those are the best quotes. Says, I will say it's pretty rich for Warner Brothers to act like they had no idea the game was in such a horrible state. Oh, said one quality assurance tester. We don't know who exactly. <clears throat> that sounds like a super reliable quote. Who worked on the game for years, apparently. It's been like this for months, and all the problems we see now were exact, were the exact same. Unchanged almost a year ago. <sighs> I, I mean, guess do we even need to say anything else no yeah we do because okay. because this isn't news no that's my point yeah obviously i mean you know the, the funny thing is is the online you know the bloggers and, and even guys like us will go how could their quality control blah blah it has nothing to do with quality control it's not the devs we've talked about that a lot before like the ubisoft devs probably great not their call to do a lot of the stuff that happens. So yeah, I mean you 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 I mean unless you're like unless you're like sneaking into the office to like fix bugs on your own time, you have to do what the person writing your paycheck tells you to do. And, and honestly, knowing some people in the gaming industry, they do that. They don't sneak in, but like they they fix stuff on their own time. A lot of the guys do, and it's still not enough. So, I mean, do we need, like a, like, a summary of, like, how utterly broken it is? The good news is that... Knows at the, this point. the good news is that Warner Brothers is paying for their sins. Uh, they are... Because they got wrecked. They, they, it is costing them the Steam fee <coughs> every time you refund it, which is great. Um, Steam's refund statement is we want to apologize to those of you who are experiencing performance issues with Batman Arkham Knight on PC. We take these issues very seriously and have therefore decided to suspend future game sales of the PC version. Of course, we talked about that before. Um, it is unclear, in spite of the minor patch that addressed some crashing bugs, introduced rain effects, and fixed a few other issues, it is unclear when it will go on sale again. Here's something I want to know. After Batman Arkham... Hold on, is Arkham Asylum... Arkham City, Arkham Origins. After Origins, why was anyone even buying this game? Especially pre-ordering it. Like, really? I didn't even... I, I think I got, like, 25% of the way through Origins, and I was just like, who the hell are all these people? Yeah. Yeah. You, like, you, really? Like, the big twist at the end is that it's the, the Joker? I mean, I would say spoiler alert, but... I, how is that a Spoiler. It's like the most obvious thing ever. It's like a bunch of no-name nonsense. It's like stupid. It was stupid. I enjoyed Arkham Asylum a lot. He did. I loved Arkham he Asylum. Did. I even enjoyed Arkham City. I think because, yeah. partly because, I left a lot of time in between playing Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. So, so I it felt more new, I guess? Yeah, I didn't play it right at release. So I, I had kind of forgotten that Arkham Asylum was the same damn game. Yeah. But then I played Arkham Origins right away afterward. Because I was like, right, I bought Arkham Origins. And then I was like, oh, I should really play Arkham City. And then I played those two back to back, at least the part of Origins that I played. And I was just like, do I, you know what? Maybe I should just replay Asylum. <laughs> Because you know what? That linear corridor style gameplay works really well for Batman. And you know, I, I, I've legitimately thought about just replaying Assassin's Creed 2 before. When Unity came out, and I was like, this is such trash. And I was like, I need an Assassin's Creed fix. And I was like, I could just install 2 and Brotherhoods and Ascension. 
Okay, at risk of going on another tirade about how rubbish Final Fantasy VII is compared to VI, um, I have actually done this. When I forget which Final Fantasy it was, but it was really stupid, and basically I put it down after like a few hours. Fortunately, I borrowed it from someone. I did not buy it. Um, and I replayed the entirety of Final Fantasy VI. Because I was just like, nope, nope. I am going to... Uh, damn it, I'm going to have a good Final <laughs> Fantasy experience today. <laughs> but not in one sitting, obviously. It's a pretty long game, but... Uh, That's awesome. I, I, I finished the StarCraft Two campaign and was, like, really, really frustrated with the end. This was Wings of Liberty. Yeah, okay. It's, like, good enough campaign. You like RTS campaigns, too. I do. So you get it. Yep. It's, it's a good enough campaign. And then the very last cinematic I was very frustrated with. So I was like, screw this. Went back and played the Warcraft Three campaign. The Warcraft like, yeah. 3 campaign is great. I love it. It is so great. It's really good, yeah. Like, oh, Ben, it, yeah, it's it's really good. Like, you actually, like, I'm more invested in, in, in like, the characters of Warcraft 3 in some cases than I am in some TV shows and movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, watching him turn from, like, you know, the paladin into, like, yeah. the lich yeah. knight yeah. or whatever nonsense... I, even I just don't even remember Rexar. the character classes or whatever. Rexar's bad. All that stuff and like uh, whatever they all. It's been a long time since I played it, but yeah. that that elder Taran guy. Yeah. Uh, crap. Blood what's his name? Is Blood it? Hoof? Is it Blood? Taran Bloodhoof. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's awesome. I love all those guys. Yeah. Those are just so good at that. I'm. I'm actually. Have we heard anything about what's that? Uh, what's that team-based FPS that they've got going on? Something Lock or something? Over Overlook. Over, Over Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah. Have, has there been any news on that lately? I think so. Yeah. Nothing major. I think it's just been like, oh, here's a new character, or here's some footage of people fighting on a map or something. I don't think there's been anything huge. Oh, beta confirmed for this fall. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna play it because like me I, too. I, I take a lot for of sure. flack for not being a real gamer from people. Um, I actually played like shed loads of TF2, like hundreds of hours of Team Fortress 2. That's um, why I'm interested in this. And and but I'm done with Team Fortress 2 because it's free to play. Oh, is Overwatch free to play? I th probably. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, anyway. You know, that seems to be Blizzard's direction. This is going to be like me being like a snobby elitist. Well, you know, I paid for the orange box, so you know, I did too. all these like trash free to play players. It's it's not about that. It's about that it really did change the dynamic when Valve got focused on selling hats as opposed to selling copies of a game for fifty nine ninety nine. It it really does change the game in a big way, and there's reasons that some Valve games, even ones that have free-to-play aspects like, say, for example, oh, I don't know, gun skins or knife skins, uh, like CSGO, remain paid titles. Having that pay barrier in place actually does keep out some of the riffraff. And I don't mean riffraff like people who can't afford the game. Or the I mean, rapper. I mean riffraff like people who are buying multiple copies of the game in order to dink with it or or hack or just basically like not care Be a trolley jerk. investing in being part of a community ultimately does tend to result in a more invested community member that's yeah i generally prefer paid games especially paid mmos free-to-play mmos are just garbage garbage in my opinion oh, yes this is all i am I, I O O H O I our H O I O H O in our opinion yeah, yeah. in our opinion we're basically one person, as far as we can tell. <laughs> yeah. I split off at some point. That's why he's much larger than me. Yeah. Except I'm older than you. How does that work? You must have. Maybe still been I like... split off and I took too much matter. No, you were in an embryonic stage at the beginning, or something. Because you're, because like your age doesn't start until you're born. So maybe it was pre-birth. Mm. But if we share a mother, then why is our hair color different? It's not much different. It shouldn't... Yeah, it's pretty different. You're pretty blonde. You've got kind of that platinum nonsense that chicks dig going on. Mine bleaches in the summer, though. Yeah, mine too, but not clearly not either that or I haven't But do you have gel in? I do. I don't. You don't? Okay. That could be arranged. <laughs> <laughs> Something about Mary reference, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Great work. Uh, okay, so... Um, R9 Fury X sound issues. Some people have reported whiny pumps, and PC Per went as far as to acquire, I think, two retail R9 Fury Xs. 
Uh, this was posted on the forum by Big Stroons. Stroons. And it has basically it? been determined... Uh, no, I did I not. Can. Thank you. It has basically been determined that while AMD did tell some reviewers, uh, not us, that the pump whining issue that some reviewers were encountering, like kind of a high-pitched whine that you get with some cheaper pumps... We had our power supply um, whine, but not our pump. Yeah, and you know what? The other power supplies that I've tried it on since didn't whine. So that was interesting. Um, so our pump didn't whine, so we never really asked about it. But they were told, oh, it's fixed, and the retail units will be fixed. But PC Per actually got retail units that were whiny. But some uh, some enterprising, you know, online community members have gone ahead and uh, and and started taking the front plates off of their Fury X's to reveal that there are indeed two pump revisions. One with a shiny Cooler Master logo and one with a colorful Cooler Master logo. The shiny one is the new one. Um, so if you have the shiny, you can actually check if you have the whiny pump version <laughs> or the non-whiny pump version by checking under that shroud that can That's be removed. Brutal. And this is something cool we didn't mention in our Fury X video because I completely missed it. Um, and I guess you did too, since you hosted that video, but AMD is apparently providing the, um, like the, the models for that front plate so you can 3D print your own, like, customized yeah, ones. I don't that's, think I, they told us. Yeah, that's pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Yeah. I would have liked to have called that out. Yeah. Because, I mean, embracing the modding community is, like, thumbs up from us. We love that stuff. Yeah. Um, so, so anyway, yeah, the pump wine, to be clear, is nothing to do with whether the card is... Hey, hey, Ed's doing the garbage. Don't forget to remind next, next week's person. Who's that, Luke? I think it's Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> yeah, it's an order of higher date, mostly. Except you're first, for some reason. Because I didn't want to make you first. Because I didn't want to, like... Because I made the schedule, so I didn't want to be like, Ha, ah, you have to do it today. So I moved to that. And then everything else is... There are so many things that I do just in order of seniority, more so that I just don't forget people than anything else. Did you ever clean the bathroom? I didn't. You didn't? Why? No, I'm just wondering. I, I will. I t well, look at it this way. Realistically, when we move out, who's going to be the one stuck cleaning the bathroom? So at some point, I will clean it. Um, maybe he might be asking because there's technically no punishment if I don't clean the bathroom for someone to miss. I thought about it. And then wow. I, I took the garbage out anyways. Uh, so anyway, the whining is, uh, regardless of whether the card is under load or not under load, and it's actually something that, I, even when I started hearing about it, I didn't really think anything of, because most cheap pumps, and when I say cheap, I don't mean like, oh, it's cheap, it will fail tomorrow. I mean like, when you're building a custom water cooling loop, you're spending $100 on your pump. An all-in-one water cooler with a block, a radiator, a pump tubing... And, like, mounting hardware and a fan is, like, less than $100. So let's just put it in perspective. A cheap pump is going to tend to have some noise, whatever the silence enthusiasts out there might think about it. Um, so I didn't really think anything of it. But some people have been saying that apparently it's quite obnoxious, whereas our Fury X, I could barely even notice it over, like, uh, an air CPU cooler, for example. So And, like, I'm pretty picky. You know this. Any of you who have ever seen my rig in person and been like, What? Uh, we'll probably know this, so there you go. Um, uh, someone in chat just asked if we can see the chat. No, we cannot. Nope. Um, I can look at it now. It's a bunch of stuff about <clears throat> fire poles. Why am I even looking at this? Nope, nope, you're fired. Pull. Duh. Oh, snap. Being fire pulled would actually really hurt a lot. Fire pulled. It's a large amount of metal. Like, Someone hit impaled? You with it. Oh. Or impaled you with yeah, it. Impaled would hurt sort of regardless of yeah. what it was with. Yep. I mean, unless it was, unless it was not too long. Wow. Well, if it's a fire pole, it's pretty Did you scary. know that impalement is actually, like, like, the death process is from your own body weight? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, like, much worse. Like, like impale can be used simply to describe, like, stabbing, like, skewering. But impalement, like, the execution... Is when you're, like, dropped on it? Is when, no, you're not dropped. You're more placed. Oh, right, and then you, like, yeah. And then you, you slide. So the more you squirm, the faster you die kind of thing. So that's sort of a gross fact. That's unfortunate. Maybe a factoid. Did you know that a factoid is an untrue fact? Really? Yeah. What? 
This one I'll this one I'll prove because most people don't know that. Factoid definition. A factoid, a brief or trivial item of news or information, an assumption or speculation that is reported and repeated so often that becomes accepted as fact. Wow. Interesting, hey? That becomes accepted as fact. Yikes. Yeah. Kind of like that, did you know 90% of all yeah. statistics are made up on the spot or whatever thing. You know what my favorite Twitter account is? Which one? Stats Canada. Stats Canada? It's a fake account and it's hilarious. They just release random fake statistics about Canada and it's so funny. While you look up a real thing, I'm going to look up that. Speaking of which, we have a new uh, real Canadian. So yeah. our, our hire from the U.S., is like getting his car registration changed over today. He's got his work permit. I think he's planning to start next week. But he's not technically a Canadian yet. No, I don't think he has citizenship. He has a work no. permit. Yeah. But then once you're working in Canada for a long time, the process of applying for citizenship becomes much easier. Becomes pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, speaking of waiting lists, this was posted by Joss on the forum. There is now a waiting list for IPv4 addresses. The end is nigh. We actually did a fastest possible episode on IPv4 versus IPv6, and how IPv6 is basically going to be enough for everyone and their dog to have hundreds of thousands of IP addresses, uh, whereas IPv4, with the Internet of Things and with all the houses being connected and businesses needing all these IP addresses and websites and blah, data centers and blah, 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 IPv4, we are like straight up out of addresses. There are apparently only about 150,000 IPv4 addresses left in the pool at Erin. One of five pools left worldwide. So Erin is the American Registry for Internet Numbers. So they actually had to tell an applicant for a new internet address to wait. Holy balls. Now, to be clear, they are reused constantly. So it's not yeah. like like you, you churn and burn through them or anything. Like, you know, when, you, when your IP address changes through. with from your ISP, like your your external IP address. You can have as, not as many as you want on your local network, but sort of as many as you want if you're a network admin and you're super smart about it. Um, like, okay, the point you're is... You're going down a weird tunnel here, Yeah, sir. don't worry about, don't it, worry about that. <laughs> yes! You can assign 192.168.0. whatever's to your heart's content behind your, your outward-facing... Uh, IP address, but that one can be reassigned and recycled by your internet service provider. So when you're done with it, they might pass it along to Jeff down the street or, or whatever the case may be. Aw, Jeff. So, um, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So some of the ones that have been assigned may get returned if an address holder goes out of business or fails to pay its dues. And there will be a few more distributions from a global pool run by ICANN, but for now, getting waitlisted is mostly a problem for bigger entities, but it is definitely a thing. Interesting. So uh, IPv6, which has some very um, unfortunate compatibility implications for older network hardware, and there's going to be some hardware they've upgrades. Been, there, there, there will be, and there, but they've been rolling out IPv6 stuff for a really long time. They of have? course, it will be a absolute crap storm. Yes. But they've been working on this for a really long time. Like, it's been in progress, and like, I mean, okay, it's like the, uh, we just shot a fast as possible about um, Wi-Fi security. And like... The, the number of articles while I was researching and the, the amount of facts that there is behind people still using WP and WPA encrypted passwords on their Wi-Fi access points is, is obscene. Especially when you consider that it has been, by law, you've had to have WPA2 support on anything with a Wi-Fi sticker on it since 2006 <laughs> for like nine years. I mean... Who was actually using a computer from nine when, years ago? When did WRT54Gs come out? Oh, wow. I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure it supports WPA2. Of course, there's a Wikipedia article. Look up the, this, the this GL. Specific rotor. The GL is the kind of the important one. Here, this guy. 1.3. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have a date. Wow. Thanks for that, Wikipedia. Wow, you're useless. Yeah, useless Pedia. Horrible. I'm going to ignore your donation request even harder next time. More than 20. Oh, I actually man. donated last time. To be clear, I love Wikipedia. I think what they do is December incredibly valuable. December of 2002 was the WRT54G. 
Well, there you go. So it's probably a whole bunch of those. <laughs> Great. <laughs> to be completely honest, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Oh my goodness! Speaking of things to not be surprised about, the Wan Show has sponsors. Yeah. So our sponsors today are Lynda.com. Control F, Linda. What is going on with the freaking dock here? <laughs> it. What <laughs> the heck? Are you look? The whole thing shifted over. I know. Like there's no scroll bar. I don't understand the things that I'm seeing. I am going to open I've a new never tab. I've seen that before. Linus's solution to everything: <laughs> open a new tab. <laughs> that, my friends, is why I have so many browser tabs. God. It's like quick scroll wheel click scroll wheel click. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so lynda.com, used by millions of people worldwide. Okay, now I told you that you were going to have to have your mom's site on lynda.com by the time we did our next spot, but I wasn't expecting it to be the following week. Did I say lynda.com? Right, that makes no sense. Lynda.com can teach you to make a website. That's true, it can. In fact, it can teach you many of the skills that you'll need to... Uh, to um, to, to work on your Squarespace website. Okay, yeah. let's talk about lynda.com. So they've got more than 3,000 courses available with topics like web development, uh, oh. photography, visual design, and business. They also do software training like Excel and WordPress, WordPress. Photoshop. Um, now, the thing about lynda.com is it's not just for you young tech-savvy kids. It can be for people like your parents if they're looking to become young tech-savvy kids and they've given up on the young part and kids part because they're your parents. They can't be kids unless, of course, they have parents, in which it case they would be kids. Parents. So the point is, whether you want to set new financial goals, find work-life balance, invest in a new hobby, ask your boss for a raise, find a new job or improve upon your current skill set, ha! Uh, invest in lynda.com. You can get a 10-day free all-you-can-eat trial and plan start at only $25 a month. Head over to lynda.com slash wanshow to try it out and start learning today. Which leads us into the second sponsor. Now, I did set that deadline. I didn't realize we'd be doing a Squarespace spot the following week. Did you by any chance get the migration finished? It's there. It's not done yet. It's not fully done yet. Okay. Let's wait for the next one. Okay. So, for those of you who missed it, I was mortified through the entire Squarespace sponsor spot last week because uh. Luke, in his infinite bloody wisdom, told me that his mom's site, which we'll show you next Squarespace spot, his mom's site was on Squarespace, and that's why it was great and stable and wouldn't crash. So, I was like, yeah, I'm totally getting, like, I'm totally getting worked like a, like a, like a, 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 a cookie dough. I couldn't think of something. You got there. It, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, right? I'm totally getting I'm totally getting worked here, but we're going to show the site anyway. Here's Luke's mom's site. It crashed immediately because it wasn't actually on Squarespace. So I'm sitting there. We've got hostgator.com or something on my screen share in the middle of me doing a Squarespace ad integration, and I'm like, wow, I really hope they don't watch this. <laughs> I got an email like three hours later from our Squarespace contact, who's not just our Squarespace contact, he watches the show, okay? I was hoping he missed it that week. And he's just like, dude, that was hilarious. That was like the funniest thing I've ever watched. Like, I swear, he enjoyed watching me stew. So they haven't dropped us. They're, they're, still, oh, they're still sponsoring us. Okay. And why do we love Squarespace? Well... Because they have a rockin' ass product. You can make yourself a cool website, whether it's for a store, a blog, a portfolio, or you just want to make a website because you think websites are cool. Their plans start at $8 a month. They'll throw in a free domain if you sign up for an entire year. You can save 10% if you use offer code Linus on squarespace.com. Their websites work great across a variety of devices, and they make it so easy anyone can do it with 24-7 email tech support. But why else do we like working with Squarespace? Because they have a sense of humor. And they can can handle working with us. They've worked with us for a long time and they've seen some bad sponsor oh, spots. Oh man. The worst of which was last week. Yes. But there's they, been many bad ones. They put up yes. with us anyway, and that's what business is about, is about relationships. We have dropped sponsors. I, I don't like airing dirty laundry, and I'm not going to name any names, but some people figured out one of them when we did a Jack Threads integration recently. So we have dropped sponsors because it's all about figuring out 
are you working together? And sometimes we get a complaint about a sponsor, whether it's through our forum or through, you know, contact information on our website, which is powered by Squarespace, not the forum, by the way, they don't have a forum module, um, but just alliancemediagroup.com website. They we, should. We get complaints sometimes, and that doesn't mean we drop a sponsor immediately because there's, there's always going to be trouble. But when we take that to the sponsor and they don't deal with it, in, a, in an awesome manner right away, then we see that as a huge problem because we don't want to be repping guys that aren't taking care of you guys. That, non awesome. That puts us in a super awkward position where we have to be bad people, basically, and neither Luke nor I wants to be bad people. Nope. We might role-play bad people sometimes. But that's not actually being bad people. Anyways, moving on, um, we have more news about things. Uh, yeah, some of these are very rapid fire. Um, Windows 10 will be rolling out in, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about, yeah, yeah, that's a big deal. Uh, Windows 10 will be rolling out in waves. Not everyone will get it at launch. This was posted by Boozoo on the forum. But if you have the little Windows icon in the bottom right-hand corner of your computer and you've reserved already, then you'll get it in the first wave. So, so. that's great, because I, like, hardcore did that, I think. I did that on one of oh my, my computers. Oh my god, did I reserve this one? Yes, I think I did. I did it on one of my computers, and then I tried to do it on my other one, and it never gave me the option to actually reserve it. Oh, maybe that is what happened, because I have reserved on... Oh, maybe this one didn't reserve. No, but I got a confirmation for this one. Yeah. View confirmation. Okay, I'll go do that on my other computer. Yeah, click sure view confirmation, it. and then you guys should be able to see... Bloody hell. Your upgrade is reserved. So if you have that, then you should be okay. Yeah. And you can cancel your reservation, apparently. I had no idea you could do that. That's well, cool. I don't want to. I want Windows 10. Me too. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, the Plex forums were compromised. Hackers gained IP addresses, passwords, Ooh. and more. So this was originally posted on Droid Life. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up here. Um, did you post this in they the They got Netflix encrypted chat? forum passwords. Yeah. Uh, although, um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to go get the Microsoft one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, encrypted forum passwords are not always the most secure thing in the world. Now, to be clear, the ones on LinusTechTips.com currently uh, using IP board, thumbs up, uh, but we have encountered in the past with other forum software um, user password encryption that was uh, not strong enough mm -hmm. to resist some fairly rudimentary um, migration, so to speak. Um <laughs> that is all <laughs> that is all we have to say that made us very very uncomfortable and absolutely yeah. everything was destroyed immediately um, so there you go uh, so there you go if you're on Plex then you should probably be uh, you should probably be not using that password anywhere else ever and stuff like that uh, just in general highly recommend using a password keeper um, so that things like bunk passwords can be changed without... So you can use different passwords everywhere without actually having to remember them all. Uh, we should probably do like a like an LSD episode of like password keepers because you've done a fair bit of research on them. I have, but I'm finding issues. For every piece of good news, there's two pieces of bad news. Yeah, that's how it kind of goes, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so this is really interesting. Facebook... Set to become a serious YouTube competitor. Yeah. Original article here is from Recode.net. And I don't know how much stock I would put in this, but did you ever read that article that I sent you and Nick that was uh, subject yeah, yeah, line yeah. required reading? Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> did, did you... <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> subtle hint there. Um, yeah, so I read and Luke read... Um, or at least he tells me he read. Yeah. Actually, no, you replied to that I with did. some with some insightful comments. I so did. okay, I believe you read it. Yeah. Um, so we read not together, like sitting together on the couch, like reading it together. Um, we read a really cool article about how much traction Facebook has in online video without anyone actually really realizing it. And it makes sense because of the amount of sheer views that like our videos get. Yep. Yeah. And and little yeah. tweaks that Facebook has put in place like autoplay as you're scrolling past it with manual audio enabling. Smartest thing ever. I mean, it, that's that's what some newer platforms like Vessel, for example, is doing stuff like that. Video thumbnails inspired by Harry Potter is apparently what Facebook's developers said. 
about this feature. It makes sense because if if it's moving, it's going to be more interesting. Yes. Yes. There, there's legitimately been face, uh, videos on Facebook that I've seen start going, especially very action heavy ones, like super fun style videos. Yeah. That I've been like, oh, whoa, okay, wait, that looks pretty interesting. When you see the ball sitting still at the top of the green hill, the big red ball, it's like, oh, okay. When you see a bunch of dudes shoving it down the hill, yes. it's like, okay, that's more interesting. And I mean, turn audio on. we obviously believe that online video is the future. We wouldn't be investing our lives in creating online video i like to think um but facebook is set to change the game a little bit because right now i mean facebook for premium content i consider kind of laughable i don't expect someone to watch right now, yeah. an entire video in that tiny window like an entire review in that tiny little window uh facebook doesn't have tools for creators that allow us to see things like audience engagement we can see a view number we don't know what they watched. We don't know how much they watched. We don't know how engaged they were. It, it's really very meaningless. Like, they're still way behind in terms of more premium content, something that YouTube has made enormous strides towards. But the one of the big obstacles that prevented people from even wanting to post on Facebook was that Facebook wasn't sharing ad revenue. Well, now that's the big news. Facebook will start sharing ad revenue with video creators. Same rev split as YouTube, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the sh shareability of Facebook is intense. Yeah. Like, wow. Totally different. Like, it's like if YouTube's mainstream, Facebook is like, is like you're born with it kind of thing. Like, Facebook is super People mainstream. People are starting to do that. People are starting to make, uh, make Facebook accounts for their kids. Absolutely. It's the same idea. You were talking about this a while ago about making a Gmail account. Yep. It's the same kind of idea. You post things to their Facebook page before they actually start using it. Yep. Yep. This is this is all this is all stuff that is that is a big deal. And I mean, we as online video creators didn't even really need more of an incentive to upload to Facebook because it's super simple. You just drag and drop and you copy paste. Like if you're already publishing somewhere, uh, this is this is really interesting. We're at the very final stages of signing a deal to get our content translated and posted on Chinese video sharing sites. So uh, so it'll actually have uh, Mandarin subtitles yeah. um, and baked into the videos, and this will be an official Linus Media Group endeavor. So, so for us, posting to something like Facebook, where English is fine, is even way less work. Um, so we've been posting there regardless of whether we're getting an ad share or not. And yeah. so now to be offered an ad share is even more compelling because it's just more reach. It's just a broader audience. I thought in the early days of Linus Tech Tips, you know, maybe it'll be possible to have 100,000 subscribers someday. Maybe there are 100,000 people on Earth who are interested in the kind of technology that I talk about. That's what I thought. And I learn day after day, week after week, that the sky's the limit on this thing. New enthusiasts are born every day. And I don't mean that in the like, haha, it's a play on the suckers born every minute. No, no, it's not like that. It's just we're replenishing our supply. New enthusiasts are coming to take the place of the ones who, you know, lose interest or, or whatever the case may be. And so that's how we've continued to grow. And, and, and this audience is, is, it seems like practically unlimited. So yeah, we're going to post to more video sharing sites and yeah, it's a good thing. Um, what's Stop up? Couple, ask people where they're, where they like watching videos the most Ooh. and do like a bunch of the okay. kind of main ones. So Facebook, uh, YouTube. YouTube, um, Vessel. Where else do we publish? We'll, we'll do Google Plus as uh, YouTube because it is... Uh, mobile? Mobile? Is that fair? Yeah. Because a lot of these things yeah. have mobile options, though. Um, can I segment it out? Can I say YouTube desktop? That's going to be a lot of pull options, but sure, you can add more. So Yeah. Yeah, does Google, so so through, I don't, when we say Google Plus, we're talking like through Google Plus, like you're actually on Google Plus watching, like viewing a video. Isn't that just YouTube links though? Embedded YouTube videos? Yes, I think so. so okay, okay, so let's off. leave that out. And I'm actually going to switch, be, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, break out iOS and Android. Okay. Um, and then I, I, I'll believe in another, uh, can you think of anything Daily else? Motion. 
I don't think it's going to get any votes, but Daily Motion. I, I already know the answer to that because our videos have been on Daily Motion forever. Like we've been, um, like it's actually automatically uploaded from YouTube. Um, like that, there's an official LTT Daily Motion, and no one watches it. No. Um, like what else is there? I mean, really, Facebook anything? and YouTube are the ones. Twitch, that yeah, work. Twitch is something I was thinking about. So Twitch, um, uh, Azubu. And we're talking in terms of experience, not necessarily where you watch. Where do you prefer to watch? Who delivers the best online video watching experience in your mind? And there's a lot of different ways to interpret this, and you'll just have to kind of leave it up to you. Whether you whether your experience is mostly dictated by the, you know, the compression algorithm, or whether your experience is mostly dictated by the discoverability of fun new content. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Dom TV, G O N. Oh, sorry, I it's already. It's fine. It. It's not going to get any anyways. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and post that. Um, Who was saying vessel? Vessel's in there. Vessel's in there. Yep. Yeah, don't worry oh, about it. Oh, Vimeo. Oh, we. Okay. Uh, people, people who want Vimeo, just just other. I mean, basically, other is going to be Vimeo at this point. I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so hold on. I wanted to go back to the notes from that Facebook thing. So, Facebook claims they can get more eyeballs than YouTube by being a social network first and video platform second, which I think is an interesting point because I would make the argument that YouTube is very much a social network. I mean, to call it anything else is sort of stupid. Um, They're saying it's a social network first. They're not saying it's not a social network. Yes, that's true. Um, but one thing that they are correct about is that YouTube's social network is less less a group oriented it's more wheel and spoke where it's like you've got your hubs the creators and then you've got the people interacting with them the spokes don't interact with each other as much the way that they would on something like facebook where it's all spokes pretty much and then hubs are just bigger spokes so to speak um and th this is an interesting quote those people don't need to be following your facebook page either Last I checked, someone can Google search how to build a computer and they can find our videos. They don't have to be following us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, or, you know. This poll is going to be extremely skewed. I know, I know, but it's still, you know, I, I, it's always nice to hear from the Twitch chat. Well, yeah, no, it's true. I just, something that I thought of outside of the fact that everyone's watching on Twitch right now is that um, the mobile versions are going to be harder to vote on. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah. poor you guys. I didn't think about that. So Android and iOS would probably be considerably higher. So this is interesting. Well, no, remember too, though. The question is, where do you prefer to watch videos? Not where do you do it, necessarily. Yeah, but if someone's currently doing it, there's a higher percentage likeliness that they're going to prefer doing it. That's the true. Doing it. That's very true. Still, overwhelming majority... 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 <laughs> Overwhelming majority are saying YouTube desktop. And I think it would be that way anyways. I just yes. think the numbers would be slightly different. Yeah, because, I mean, we see from our mobile viewership numbers that more of you are watching on mobile than necessarily prefer to watch on mobile. Yeah. Um, with a, actually 7% of you saying Vessel. You know, Vessel implemented a really cool feature recently where the video just gets small and plays at the top yes. when you scroll yeah, and read the comments. I that. As a creator... 95% cool. of what I'm interested in on the video playback page is, is comments. comments yeah. And so being able, being able to kind of watch the video in the corner of my eye is like, oh, yeah, that's kind of neat. Because a lot of the time the editors throw in stuff that I don't think of, especially yeah. fast as possible, and channel super fun. Those are as much fun for me to watch as you guys, I think. We've got some fun channel super funs coming. We actually filmed... <gasps> you weren't here yesterday! I haven't properly been in one in like a month and a half. Oh my goodness! Okay, so it's been a long time. The uh, the golf one is pretty hilarious. I had Jack from NCIX Tech Tips film with me, and so we play golf on a pitch and putt course with plastic clubs and plastic balls. Yeah. Um, and then the one we filmed yesterday is this game, if you can even call it a game. It's just stupid, um, where you hold four handles. Each person holds a handle, and then it plays spooky music, and like a light changes color. And you have to press the button as fast as you can or you get an electric shock. And it's pretty similar mm. to the dog collars. Okay. So it's wow. like, it's not like, hey, you were last. It's like, hey, don't be last again. Yeah. <laughs> Poor oh, Brandon. God. That's all I have to say. 
<laughs> and like the more times you get shocked, it seems like the slower Brandon gets. Probably. That makes sense. Um What's up? There's selfie pay from MasterCard. No, I actually didn't read this. What the hell is this? This is posted by Jaws <laughs> on the forum. I, I'm going to let you handle this because I actually didn't make it this far in my doc prep today. I was I was busy organizing all the videos that I need to do over the next couple of months. It turns out that if not a single new product were released, nor a single new idea generated by anyone who works at Linus Media Group, we would have enough content to make it through the next quarter or so. Yep. Um, there's There's... there's some interesting counterpoints to this whole idea, but basically, you get a Microsoft, uh, or Microsoft, you get a MasterCard app on your phone, and then for authorization of payment, you take a selfie. So it uses facial recognition. Now, to get around people using still photos, they make you blink once. But that doesn't mean you couldn't just, like, hold the phone there. No, because getting a video of someone blinking once. Hold on, I'm gonna, difficult. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to full screen so you can see the look on my face better. I think that's what a lot of people did. Um, a bunch of people are saying, from a privacy standpoint, this is awful because then Mastercard is just gonna have like endless amounts of videos of you looking at a camera and all of your banking information. But Mastercard is stating that they're only holding ones and zeros. Not photos or fingerprints, which are made of ones and zeros. Anyways, it's super weird. I don't really know. Uh, one thing that you guys might be enjoying right now is that HTML5 chat is now live on Twitch. I'm going to post this into the Twitch chat. Um, okay, I can... My face actually started to stick there. Oh, wow. I'm super not impressed with selfie pay. No. I don't think many it's people like, care. Why does it take Apple to revolutionize mobile payments? Because everyone else is a complete idiot. Because people at MasterCard were like, the young people. The young people like taking selfies. Let's make let's make credit card selfies. Um, anyways, apparently it kicked off on June thirtieth. It's a actually a lot better than the previous Flash based chat. Thank freaking goodness that we're getting away from Flash. Uh, chat loads apparently four times faster. Chat uses fewer CPU resources, and you don't need to do anything to upgrade as long as you're using a WebSocket capable browser. Let's um, let's do a thing. Let's okay. reload this page and see if the chat slows it down. It worked. We benchmarked it. Wow. Oh, jeez. Luckily, most benchmarks online as tech tips are better than that. <laughs> Actually have some amount of comparative data. Actually oh, have man. an ounce of thought put into them. <laughs> I'm going to F5 and see what happens. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's super cool. I'm very happy about that, personally. What else do we have to say? Oh, iPhone 6S leaks, right. Uh, original article here is from uh, 9to5Mac. So the chassis has been revealed. Uh, this is really unexpected to people who have never seen an Apple product release cycle before. Um, but the iPhone 6S will look nearly identical outside, but will feature numerous changes inside. Right when the iPhone 7 comes out, we should release a chassis leak of the iPhone, iPhone 7S. We should. We'd be first. Yes. That would be awesome. So according to the leak, basically nothing is going to change about the outside. In fact, even less than usual. Like in the past, we've seen things like an antenna line here or a logo there or whatever else. Like little tiny changes. Uh, this time it looks like pretty much nothing. In spite of Apple's patent filing for a way to anodize their, uh, their antenna lines... Which, personally, I don't even mind the antenna line. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, we're not talking, like, panty lines here. It's just an antenna line. Everybody's got to have antennas. And we all know that no one should be wearing panties, so that's why it's much less no offensive. One? You just like people going commando? Oh, yeah. I'm all about the commando. Are you commando right now? Um, no. But I'm wearing skin-tight panties, so you don't see the lines. What color are they? They're black. Because is, is I that know, like a glossy black or a matte black? Remember, black panties are only for when you expect and or want someone to see them. Is this for me? I think it's from Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret. Which is a book. 
It might not be from that Did book. Did you enjoy that? It might not be a book at all. In Seattle, I got to see the Princess Bride props. No way. Physical props. Shut up. What? Uh, the swords. Shut um, up. Um, the one of the main dresses, the the uh, the as you wish, suit thing. No way. In person. Sick. I also, didn't even know they all, had that also there. Also, Star Wars stuff. Is it touring or is it like a museum or something? Like, museum. can I go? Yes. Oh my good. Oh wow. Also, I'm, Star Wars. Wait, I think I'm. I'm going to Seattle shortly. Go to the uh, e- EMP EMP museum. EMP museum. Yeah, it's definitely. It's like right beside the Space Needle. Um, there's Star Wars. They have all the new stuff. They also have a bunch of old stuff. There's two main like themed rooms going on. Can I on. skip the new stuff? Yeah. Can I never look I, at it? I can tell you how to avoid the new stuff. Because I went to the new stuff and was like, I don't want to see any of this. And then eventually found the old stuff and was like, awesome! <laughs> and then left and went to the other areas. But there's a fantasy area where they have um, Princess Bride and they have Lord of the Rings and stuff in there as well. Then there's a sci-fi area that has like Star Wars stuff Sweet. and Star Trek stuff. And then there's a dedicated Star Wars area. Oh, I have to go down there for that. I'm actually, I'm going down for uh, Chris Perillo's Vlogger Fair thing. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm only going down for like one day because I think there's like an industry day or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. Um, so if like if people want to go check it out, uh, Vlogger Fair, I have a discount code or something so you can get 15% off your admission. Um, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know how much admission costs or anything. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't get paid or anything. I'm just going down to kind of hang out. And, uh, I couldn't make it last year and I had told Chris that I really wanted to make it. So I can make it this year. So if I didn't make it this year, then I'd basically be just being a gigantic douche canoe. So wow. I didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, go to that thing. There's also like, it's supposed to be a music place. The majority of the stuff in there is actually props. Oh, I give zero craps about that. So yeah. Yeah. There's like Nirvana and exactly <laughs> no he's a big deal he, he used to put acid in his headband Jimi hendrix yes there's Jimi hendrix and nirvana for music exhibits and then there's just like actually cool things at the props right. like I, I i like i like the music stuff but like there's i don't know it was much less interesting than the props which i felt was weird considering it's a music museum right anyways so the uh, iPhone 6s will allegedly feature a pressure sensitive display so that's that new force touch thing that we've seen on um, the MacBook 2015 where I really liked it and the Apple watch where I think it's a gigantic steaming hunk of completely unnecessary nonsense so uh, whether they do a better job in the iPhone 6s remains to be seen there was rumors that there would be a dual element camera or something like that it looks like that will not be the case um, space gray will remain light in contrast with the space gray Apple watch, which is darker. It's amazing the kinds of things that Apple people care about. Uh, same connectors, um, are, is rumored. So we might still be looking at a lightning connector as opposed to a USB type C connector, but this is a leak. None of it could be real. So yeah, head to nine to five Mac if you're interested in learning more about it. Otherwise, um, I guess we could move on to not Apple things. Whoa. There's been a bunch of Reddit drama, like super yeah. duper Reddit drama. Um, basically, like the 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 exodus seems to be kind of starting between the... Finally, because they freaked out last time and they were like, oh, I guess we'll just keep using Reddit. You know what's one funky town thing though? Yeah. Everyone is talking about leaving Reddit on Reddit. Like I guarantee you, Reddit has a huge traffic spike right now. Yeah, I was talking to someone about this earlier today, and it's just, like, guys, man, like, the AMA request for whatever the heck her name is, the chick that's running Reddit now, um, is, like, one of the most upvoted things, like, ever. Just, if so, you want to protest, just actually leave. Basically, Ahmad was unexpectedly let go of from her position with Reddit, um... Some mods were not notified. The admins didn't realize how important she was. Something, something. No one knows. Was made public again later. As far as I know, no one knows specifically how or why she got fired. Yep. There's already been job offers for her. Mods have been increasingly upset over the admins not keeping them or the users in the loop as much as they believe they should. They hope to get a better relationship with and the it was admins. A, it was an admin. Yeah. Sorry, excuse it me. It was an admin who, who did a lot for the AMA. Yeah. 
So, there you go. Some subreddits shut down so no one could comment on them. Um, notably, r slash funny, books, science, music, gaming, history, art, jokes, documentaries. Today I learned, so like some, like reddits that even I've heard of as not a redditor and like that I've browsed as not particularly a redditor. So, uh, there you go. The rebels are, the rebels are rising. Or rousing. Rebel hopefully, rousing. Hopefully they remember for more than like four days. It's Reddit, so I don't know. But I don't even remember what the last thing was. I think they like closed down some subreddits or something, and like Reddit exploded for like twenty four hours, and then no one gave a crap. Okay. I mean, it's not like I, I don't think it's specific to Reddit. I think it's just any it's not. mainstream site. Yeah. A very mainstream site is going to have your very mainstream user who is not the emotionally invested user so as like once something reaches that critical mass um it takes it, it has a lot of momentum i mean that's what critical mass means uh, so once you reach that critical mass you gain a lot of momentum and even if you lose some really important like keystone pieces of a community it can keep a lot of momentum for a long time you can potentially have a huge amount of mass without momentum yes if you weren't moving thank you but that's not what people mean when they say reaching critical mass. So I think you understood me fully and are just being a jackass. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for tuning into the WAN show today. Thank you to our sponsors, Squarespace and Lynda.com. And we appreciate all 6,000 of you tuning in on this absolutely beautiful day when I'm sure many of you would rather be out riding a bicycle or whatever else it is that people do when it's sunny out. I wouldn't know. I'm sweating indoors. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you guys again next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yay. Outro! Right. Thank you. Um, Didn't work. Hold on. Uh, uh, Squarespace. Linda. Squarespace. Linda. Squarespace. Linda. Hold on. Hold on. I Outro. got this. Everybody wants a fire pole. Everybody wants a fire pole. Some people ask me a pull up. Fire pole! Fire pole! Fire pole! You can make a website about fire poles, and you can learn how to do that on Linda, and then you could take those skills to Squarespace, uh, Squarespace, and then you could learn how to end the broadcast by working here.